and then we'll write the CSS in order to finalize that so I'll be using jQuery so this is like fun document dot ready function I assume you already know this because I'm not a good explainer I already taught this many times so I'm going to target the dot the dot bar which is this dot bar so I'm going to target that I'm going to target each or each and every dot bar so I'm going to call the each function so I'm going to create a variable called template to store that dot so I'm going to grab that I'm going to use this keyword and this dot HTML let's see what this returns so let me console.log template let me open the console by pressing F12 or right click and inspect and you can see it's returning that spawn and it's returning this span element okay so what we're going to do is we're going to loop we're going to loop according to the percentage so let me grab this percentage so I'm going to parent element of this skill dot so I'm going to find the skill bar and inside this skill bar from here we are navigating to this main parent and from there we are we are looking for this percentage okay then find these are jQuery methods find percent and we're gonna grab the text inside it and yeah let's console log this too and you can see it's returning 95 and yeah let's duplicate this skill bar and see the result and I'm going to change this to like 75 and you can see it will return the percentage one by one okay let me undo this okay let's do the next step so we're going to split that number splitted equal we're going to call the split method so we'll be splitting every single character so if you console log this we it will return an array console log splitted and you can see it returning nine five and that percentage so we have to get rid of this percent I'm using this same variable to override it and I'm going to join this first number plus I'm going to add a dot so we'll get a float number so if I console log this and you can see we got 9.5 it's returning a string so I want to convert it to a float so what I'm going to do is were float equal parse float and split it so let me copy that and you can see and you can see this is a string and this is a number so if I try to directly so you can't make this float directly by applying this 
float method so let me show you how let me put this up and see and you can see it returns 9 so it won't return you 9.5 so I want it to return 9.5 and let me remove this console so I'm going to round this up to like 9.5 mean 10 so if it is below 5 it will return like 9 okay let's do that I'm really sorry if you can hear a lot of background noises there are people outside my house okay let me round up this so I'm going to create a variable called round rounded equal math I'm going to call the math object and yeah I'm going to call the method called round and I'm going to pass this value and yeah let me console log this value and you can see it, it's returning 10 so now we what we have to do is we have to loop loop this dots let me get rid of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to before I insert this template which is the dot I'm going to empty I'm going to clean HTML inside this dot bar so yeah this which means we, this keyword refers to this skill dot the current skill dot we are in it so HTML and so when I save this you will notice this will go away and you can see it went away so now what we have to do is we have to run and for loop in order to put some dots so I'm going to create a for loop I'm going to say where where i equals 0 and i is less than less than 10 okay we need 10 dots and then i plus plus so let's see okay let's see if i is greater than our our value rounded value so if i is greater than rounded then this this means this skill dot bar dot append these are jQuery methods so I'm going to append the template I'm going to find the last child whenever this dot being appended so let's use the CSS pseudo class here last child and we'll be adding okay let's go ahead and okay let's go ahead and create the gray dots skills inside that we'll be going to create the gray dot and I'm going to set the background color to like light color and I'm going to give this important and we are not yet finished so let's do the else condition else we just going to append the template and you can see the result is here so we have to remove this last line so let's go back to style.css so I'm going to so I'm going to find the last child I mean last dot and I'm going to last I'm going to look into that before pseudo class before and I'm going to set the border to now. and you can see the border went away so let's let's duplicate this skill bar and see and I'm going to give this like 55 and you can see the gray dots but we want to change this line color to gray too okay so what we can do is we can find the gray dot and gray dot and before pseudo class and let's set the border color too 
Great. Important. And yeah, that's it, guys. Before this, let's make this responsive. So I'm just pasting this grid columns. So let me duplicate this. And yeah, you can see this, and it's responsive. And you can see.